There is great debate as to whether some of Archimedes' weapons are the stuff of history or myth. One of the most contentious inventions is the extraordinary weapon known as Archimedes' steam cannon. Many experts simply cannot believe that anyone could have invented a steam-powered weapon more than 200 years BC. Yet it's clear that the ancient Greeks knew how to harness the power of steam. Heron of Alexandria invented the steam ball, believed to be the first steam engine in history. Even the great Leonardo da Vinci believed Archimedes' steam cannon could have existed. Ο Λεωνάρντο Νταβίντσι, από ό,τι γνωρίζουμε, είχε στην κατοχή του χειρόγραφα προφανώς του Αρχιμήδη. Τρία από αυτά βρέθηκαν στη βιβλιοθήκη του, τα οποία τα χρησιμοποίησε για να ανακατασκευάσει το κανόνι. 35 years ago, Professor Ioannis Sakas, a leading Greek engineer and leading Archimedes expert, became convinced that Archimedes had indeed invented a cannon powered by steam. Ο Σακάς ήταν ένας Έλληνας μηχανικός, ο οποίος έταξε τη ζωή του ακριβώς στο να ανακατασκευάζει έργα του Αρχιμήδους. Ήταν ένα μοντέλο, ένα προς πέντε, δεν ήταν πάρα πολύ μεγάλο. The results were surprising. Κάποια στιγμή λοιπόν με τη βαλβίδα αυτή μεταφέρεται ο ατμός μέσω αυτού εδώ του διάβλου και μπουμ! εκτόξευε την, την πέτρινη της σφαίρας σε απόσταση 300 με 400 μέτρων. Ιωάννης Σάκας' home movies show one of his successful experiments with the steam cannon. But could the same experiment be repeated today? For the first time in over 30 years, we put Archimedes steam cannon to the test. Richard Windley, an ancient technology model maker, has built the steam cannon based on Professor Sakas' original designs. The vessel at the back here is made of heavy-duty steel, probably bronze in Archimedes' time. There's a sub substantial amount of metal there which absorbs massive quantities of heat from the fire. The pressure vessel remains empty until the point of firing, when a small amount of water is dropped via the valve onto the very hot metal inside, creating a build-up of steam pressure. The ball sits in the barrel towards the end of the cannon and is held against a collar just at the front of the pressure vessel. It's actually held in place by a wooden rod which runs the length of the barrel. The critical piece of equipment is this brake bar at the front which holds everything in place until the pressure reaches a predetermined limit when the bar breaks and the ball is then free to fly out of the barrel at high velocity. It's astonishing to think that Archimedes could have invented such an apparently modern cannon over 2,000 years ago. The early Greeks were perfectly aware of the um, principles involved. We're talking about huge pressures in these pressure vessels. This is running at a very modest pressure, but it would have been a, a mammoth task to produce the kind of results which are discussed by some of the ancient writers. Massive weights being hurled through huge distances. The success of Archimedes' various war machines eventually persuaded the Romans to abandon the assault on Syracuse and attempt to take it by blockade.